Hello, welcome to Physics Lab offered online. This introduction is common for both uh, Physics 1 lab and Physics 2 lab. Now, is it possible to do a lab course online? Now, there are many lab courses that use animated labs, but I'm not very fond of those. What I want you to do is, I want you to take measurements on your own, interpret them, and be part of that lab activity. So, what I will be doing is, I will be performing the labs live and videotape them. Now, I, I am your lab partner, but you will be taking the measurements. Now, for example, if you want to take a length measurement, now, this is a 30 centimeter ruler. You can actually measure the length of this on your computer screen and work out a conversion factor. Now, what is a conversion factor? This is the actual length 30 centimeter. Suppose when you measure it on the computer screen, you get, say, 10 centimeter. That means the conversion factor is 30 centimeter divided by 10 centimeter, that is 3 conversion factor is 3, which means any other measurement that you do on the computer screen, if you multiply it by 3, it becomes the actual measurement. And we will actually use this to measure many distances. Alright, now, as I said, I will be your lab partner and you will be taking the measurements along with me and write the lab reports. All right, now, what are the things that you need for this course? You don't need to buy a textbook, but you need to have Microsoft Office installed on your computer. Office 2007 or Office 2010, if you have the, the earlier version 2003, that will be fine. Now, the lab manuals that I have attached for you to use are actually made on Office 2003. So when you open it in either 2007 or 2010, you go to the menu on the left and there will be one option there, convert. So you convert the 2003 document to either 2007 or 2010. Then only you will be able to access the equation editor and things like that. So do that first. Okay, but well, most of you are more tech savvy than I am, so I don't need to explain this to you, but I am doing this in case somebody needs help. All right? Now, I am going to take you to the home page of the course right away. I hope you know how to log into the course. If you don't know your username and password and how to log in, let me know. There's one other thing that you might require. Now, many physics experiments require time measurements. That means you need a stopwatch. And in the somewhere, I've said I will be sending you a link. Now, I've stopped sending that link because you can actually Google stopwatch and download a version of stopwatch that you can save on your computer and use at any time. If anybody has difficulty getting hold of his top watch, uh, let me know and I will send you a link. All right? This is the home page of Physics 1 Lab. Physics 2 Lab will be the same. You have welcome message. Make sure that you open and read it. Course introduction movie. That is what you're watching now. Graphs and documents movie. Very important. Now, those who do not know how to construct good graphs on Excel. You see, all labs have at least one graph to do. That means you must be an expert in making good graphs on Excel and copy and paste it on your Word document. So watch this. I have actually made this for Office 2003 and Office 2007. So whichever version you have, you can watch that part of the movie. If you have Office 2010, actually the Office 2007 and 2010 don't have a lot of difference. If you know how to use 2007, 
Excel for graphs, you also know how to use 2010. But if you have any questions, let me know. And then read the syllabus and look at the requirements. How many labs are you supposed to do and when are you going to submit? And when you have completed all that, click on weekly lab schedule. And that will take you to all the labs that you're supposed to do. Let's have a look. So click on weekly lab schedule. And it takes you to this grid. Week one, lab one. And uh, in the syllabus and in the schedule, I have given you the deadline for each lab. And make sure that you abide by that deadline. When you want to do lab one, click on lab one. And it takes you up here, lab one. Now, there are two items on each page. One is the lab manual. This is the document, the Word document. The other one is the data video. Now, open the lab manual. That's a Word document. All right. Now, this is, this is actually Physics 2 lab, not Physics, two, not physics 1. This is Physics 2 lab course. Now, read through. Read through the lab manual carefully. Now, once you read the lab manual carefully, then watch the video. Well, I'm going to take away the document. Now, watch the data video. Just click on it and you can play the video either by clicking here or there is an arrow at the left. So play the video and watch the video carefully. I explain every aspect and I show you how to take measurements. So you need to be actively participating as you watch the video. All right, I'm going to close this video. All right. Now, in the first data movie, I also give you a format for the lab report. So how do you prepare your lab report? Once the lab report is prepared, you see, once you open the lab manual, you can use the same, same document to prepare your lab report. In other words, some of the things you can actually use from my own language. But remember when you write a report, it must be all in a report of speech. When I say, take this measurement, you must say, this measurement was taken. All right? So complete your report and save it as a document on your computer. And once the report is saved, click on Submit Assignment and follow instructions. When you click on Submit Assignment, you come to this page, browse for the file, open that file, and then click on this small box where you are committing that this assignment submission is my own original work. Now, remember, you, you can work in groups of one or two if uh, that is your priority, but your report must be original and your own work. Now, if you submit to me copies of the assignment or, or of the report or copies borrowed from anybody, I have means to recognize that. So, you must submit your own work. It is very important. Now, once you commit this, make sure that that commitment is your honor commitment. And once you check that, submit assignment and that will be submitted and I will mark it for you. All right? Now, this is the General Physics 1 lab schedule. You can see I have uh, given you the dates in there and each lab. Now, if you look at uh, up to labs 5, the worksheets actually require you to write the answers right there. So there is no separate need for a report. 
Just complete the worksheet with the answers where there is space given. And there are space for graphs and things like that, which you draw the graph on Excel, copy and paste. And that is up to lab five. From lab six on, you need to prepare special lab reports and have given you instructions to do that right there. Well, now I hope uh, I, I have taken you through enough of what you need to do. And the lab course is an important part of learning physics. I wrote these labs to supplement learning in the lecture class. That means the concepts that are discussed in class are developed through the lab one more time. Once you do most of these labs, your understanding of the concepts in lectures are reinforced. So make sure that you spend some time and learn the concept and do the labs well. All right, any question, any time, let me know. And I hope you'll enjoy this and make sure that you put in your best in it. And I'm sure you will enjoy it. All right, I wish you all the best.